Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna get this shit recorded on Anchor, did, uh, and we good to go. So we live. Right now? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Pour out. No one wash. Squeeze it, We live. Mm, okay, yeah. so that's a little squirt thing at the top. Mm. Squirt it up. I don't do certain shit on, on, on camera. Okay, okay. here, live. I was cleaning off this table so you can have some yeah. leverage. Oh, okay. I ain't, I'm making sure I'm, I don't know nigga sensibilities. I don't know nigga. Put it, put niggas it right there. Go to the laptop on it. You ain't hearing a word I'm saying. Please. Yeah, he did. Sit it right there. Put the laptop on. Okay. I, heard, I heard you. And, you know, I, I had I kind of was listening as I was moving it. Okay. So you know, I'm probably, I kind of missed it. All right, word. What's your charge? How, how, how much charge your laptop got on it? Plenty. Oh, okay. We good. All I need to do is record audio. Okay, so check this out. I'm going to go ahead and check on the kids. Hey, you, you do that. Love you, babe. I love you more. Oh, look at the blood. Oh, man. It's not romantic anymore. It's just regular. It's just love. It's just, it's, it's just, it's just everyday love now. Like, it's not even like... It's not even cute. Yeah, it's just like, it's like, ah, oh, I know. All right. It is the motherfucking nerd rap podcast and what's happening yeah got my man lotto lit hey. on here and i told y'all we was gonna talk about space jam um i feel like why didn't why are niggas so angry at this movie i want to ask your opinion like i gave my piece already why do you feel niggas are so angry at space jam 2 if i'm gonna be dead real bro <laughs> I'm gonna keep it a buck. I think they just hate LeBron James. Like, they always say he the most hated man in sports, or at least one of them. I think they try to say Tom Brady more hated. I don't think Tom Brady's more hated than LeBron James, bro. I think my boy Shady Brady get more love than LeBron James <laughs> in these streets, bro. Listen, LeBron James out here putting kids through college and everything, bro. Niggas still hate him. They like, yo, that <laughs> nigga sponsoring hey, futures. Listen, listen, he guiding the kids to the promised land. But niggas like, man, listen, it ain't my kids, so fuck that nigga. Damn. Bro, niggas don't like LeBron, bro. I don't know what it is. They, they, man, they want LeBron James. Goddamn, he had like, plaque. I've heard, I've heard people be like, now, I heard the thing when people say, like, oh, man, they should have did it with Kobe. I like that opinion, though. I, honestly, like, I'm, I'm, don't get it twisted. Like, when it's two great black people, I never want to hear a person say, like, uh, take the other one off. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I, like, don't, 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 don't do that. Like, I let, we, let's enjoy LeBron James on there. Oh, you still got it. But let's just say, let's just say... There wouldn't have been nothing wrong with the like. I ain't gonna lie, that should have been tough. Cause you know how Kobe taught, you know that, you know that level of instilling some shit upon you. Kobe had in him, it was just different. Man. I think his work ethic would have applied to that a little. As good as LeBron is at leading a team, it was just something about verbally hearing the leadership of Kobe Bryant. That shit hit different. Man. Kobe Bryant because, was a beast though. Cause what niggas can't niggas can't deny is Kobe Bryant knew how to win, and it was just so so. so so, and I'm not saying LeBron don't. I'm just saying Kobe Bryant, when it came to that talk and that intellect and putting that shit on him up, I mean, that shit was always special hearing Kobe talk about the game. And do shit, so. I mean, we not we not going to act like we, they, they probably, that probably wasn't on the table before he passed. Then let's imagine that. Well, it also would have been cool. Look, that would have been Mamba and Gigi on there. Man, that should have been tough. You can't even tell me that shit would have been tough now. Come on, <laughs> bro. That should have been tough, man. Can't you tell me that would have been tough, bro? I'd have been rocking with that shit so hard, bro. And I didn't know disrespect to Brown. I fuck with his shit too. I'm just saying, dude. A new legacy. You got the chick, cause she, man, listen, she had eyes all over the sport. WNBA too. That that's pretty. That that's that's pretty violent. Yeah, bro. So you already know, man. I'm, that's yeah. how I feel about that. Uh, don't get it twisted. I en- I enjoyed LeBron on there, but. Whew. We could have called Mamba and Gigi edition. <laughs> Ooh, shit, dog. Nah. Look out now. Nah. Look out now. Nah. There'd have been something crazy going on. You know that last. You know that last stretch Michael Jordan took with the arm, and uh, 
I'm, I'm not going to give away what LeBron James pulled off on his version of the stretch of the arm. You feel me? I'm going to let y'all check that out and see. It ain't the same. Bro. All the, you know, I wasn't hitting on the stretch of the arm. It wasn't know, the same. We ain't going to flex. That but <laughs> the Mamba version, I just know, like, whatever it was, it would have been official, bro. Uh, it would have been official. Bro. I, I feel like the movie <laughs> the movie was, was fine for what we got. It was. Like, I never expected a masterpiece from Space Jam 2. I am of the opinion, you know, we do disagree on this. I do not like the first one, so I didn't have high expectations <laughs> for the second one. You didn't like the first one, man. It, it's not that I don't. Like, you ever see Chronicles of Riddick? Yeah. yeah. I, I think that's a horrible movie. For real? But no, but the thing is, that's my favorite movie of all time. I love that movie. I love every line. You're like, I told you. To stay at New Mecca. <laughs> Did you not listen? I love, I, I love that movie, hey, bro. Hey, I love that movie, yeah. yo. Doom with the Rock, but I love that movie, yo. I feel you, bro. But There's something about it, right? It's just, it's entertaining as fuck, but I don't think it's a good movie. Yeah. <laughs> like the first Space Jam, if you put it on right now, I would watch the whole thing still because it's still entertaining. Like it's still. Entertaining. Well, anything that pops off with a little, uh, what's my man's name? You know, y'all know how I fuck with my boy Seal now. Y'all got Seal singing on it? It's a go. <laughs> y'all got Seal singing on it? It's a go off, Max. I want to fly like an ego. Go ahead, Seal. I ain't going to hold you. Let's see it different. I know I'm awesome, Seal, man. Y'all remember how you ended the Batman Forever movie, boy? Baby, boy, my boy Seal had me on fire. Look at my boy Seal. Killing the track again. Got the movies going. I say, yeah, you know, I like Seal. Damn, so Seal. And I think we'll tear the nineties up. I ain't gonna hold you. Fuck the movies. Up, <laughs> you had the movies on Smash, boy. Space Jam. Space Jam was a go. Seal song on that guy. It was a go. It was a good movie. I'll what? Hey, hey, <laughs> hey, the soundtrack of I think the soundtrack of Space Jam is gonna it will make that shit iconic though. Yeah, big time, bro. That, like, that was special. That, that shit was special. It, because now it's like, you know, the new one came out, it's kinda like you can't even judge it on the same curve because like we ain't even gonna know how we're gonna look at this one twenty you know, years. From you now. know, cause like think about it. When when Michael Jordan shot his first jump shot on there, I think we had R. Kelly playing in the background. The, I believe I can fly or something going on, and it was so epic at the beginning. I it, looking back on, if you watch that scene now, it probably wasn't as epic to you. Then, but at the time, you was just like, yeah, yeah, this little Michael he pulled off. That's how Michael got got down to shooting the J. That's how the goat got started. <laughs> and you hear the I believe I can fly in the background, and yeah, it shed some shit. light on I believe I can fly. But like, if I think about the new Space Jam two movie. I can't tell you if it was even a song that played that I'm familiar with. I can't even remember. Like, it, like there wasn't that part. You're right. Huh? You're right. There was yeah. No I don't know if there was that uh, that soundtrack or anything that, like, locked you in. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, I, I feel like that's just was 90s shit back then. Because I've it. never heard a sound. Like, you know when in the 90s, when them movies came out, with them animated movies? like the soundtrack. Because those yeah. soundtracks was lit. Like, you, you remember? I Listen. Boomerang soundtrack. Shoot, even the early 2000s had it going on. <laughs> Got that Romeo you, Must Die had the Aaliyah and John bro, and stuff going on. Like, yeah. So bro, do you remember the soundtrack to, like, the, the Prince of Egypt? What? <laughs> you? Yes, yeah, sir. Like, bro, I was on a fire soundtrack, too. Day. Niggas went to, niggas went to theaters day. just to hear the songs in but theaters. But it came out Christmas Day. I remember that. that. Bro, the Prince of Egypt soundtrack? I that, that Prince of we, I, 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 I ain't going to stay on the subject of Prince of Egypt, but boy, that was a heavy little movie right there. That was a pretty good movie right That was a pretty, that was that was good pretty goddamn damn, movie. That was pretty damn fire right there. Now, yeah. if, they, if they said it was making like a sequel, or like those little biblical movies, like that again animated, yeah. I'm like, all right, y'all yeah, got hot shoes to fill. Because those shits were damn good back then. Yeah, uh, it's all man. Those but look, are, man, that I can't shit. lie, man. It's it's hard shoes to fill, period, because they're iconic. It's, it's something about like like it's something about old school movies, like not even too old school, but like old school movies, nineties movies and stuff, like the the level of originality that was behind yeah. those, People like cared. like you you can't People get cared. when you watch these <laughs> new movies, it's it's never gonna hit like you're gonna watch them and be like, yo, that was a good movie. But at the same time, like when you watched a good movie from back then, it, they were so original, you never seen nothing like it already. But, so like it hit different for let's, you. Let's, be, let's, let's keep it a thousand. Like Space Jam, we threw you in the Looney Tunes, like 
we had you, you like you, like that was that was who framed Roger Rabbit, but on a on a different scale, you know. Because that was like, the only other. That's the only other thing you can really compare it to, you know what I'm saying? Now, now I ain't gonna hold you, even with Go that. Ahead. That movie holds up too. It does. That's still a good movie. Who framed Roger Rabbit? Still one of you play that right now. I will watch the whole movie. I could watch that. I yeah. could watch the whole fucking movie. I, I mean, don't, I like film noir and shit, so I'm kind of biased anyway. But even still, like it still works. Yeah, you're right. Matter of fact, I got one. Yeah, you're right. It still works when it shouldn't. And that that's kind of where... Like that's Tang. Like Pootie Tang, bro. I watched Pootie Tang for the first time the other day, believe it or not. Yeah, my, my, my ass. My ass watched Pootie Tang for the first time the other day. And guess what? He instantly became one of my favorite superheroes, man. My nigga got this. <laughs> Listen, my boy over here smacking bullets away with his braid, bro. I was like, yo, get the fuck out of here, bro. This is genius. Like, Pootie Tang. Somebody is, should make him a comic ASAP. Pootie Tang is hilarious. Pootie Tang is Pootie Tang is hilarious. But I don't know what it was about movies back then. Same it just be like. Talk. He jibbered. Nigga tell you like, yo, <laughs> yo, Pootie Tang, you the man. And you tell Pootie Tang he the man, he ain't even gonna, he ain't even gonna got dang on. Yeah, I know. My nigga gonna be like, tibbit tie. You gonna be like, what? Chill out. What that mean? Pootie Tang swag, he tibbit tie. And he gonna okay. keep it pushing. I, 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 feel, I feel like that nigga had a speech impediment, man. He just learned how to make that shit sound fly. Yeah, my favorite song. My, yeah, my favorite part was when the nigga made a song called... <laughs> And the nigga played that shit on the radio and everybody was bopping like they was hearing some dope ass music. And then there was a little boy in this room, he was just bopping. And his dad bust in the room, he like, turn that shit down. That shit had me weak as fuck. Boy, I said, man, this movie is timeless. Like, these, shit, these jokes are hitting right now. Like, what are you listening to? Like, man, nothing. hilarious, bro. <laughs> they don't, yeah, the shit, they, they, don't, they don't hit the same. Like, like the, 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 the movies don't hit the same. Like, I used to watch, like, like, if you go back to them old John Singleton joints, Higher Learning, To Do the Right Thing, to yeah. Malcolm X, I remember Hurricane with Denzel. Yeah, that was good. Like, I remember just... White Man Can't Jump. Yeah, like, they, 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 they took their time. Yeah. What's up? You started already? Yeah, why? Well, you Okay. Well, you can come in. You still talk about old 90s movies and stuff huh? like that. You talk about old 90s movies. I'll be right back. Yeah, shit, and then like that's another thing. Like when it comes to old movies, my biggest thing about old movies not not only were they original, like the jokes were too. You know what I'm saying? That was something that was special too. The jokes were original too. Like these days, you feel like you heard it before, man. Like it's like, I don't know what it is. It's just something about the new movies these days. I just feel like you heard it before. I've seen it before. Like this was, and everybody's doing the same thing. You feel me? Yeah. Talk about now. We talk about nineties flicks. And stuff like that about the quality of them and stuff. Like I was just telling them, like not only was the, not only were they more original, the jokes were too. You feel me? I feel like the jokes were more original back then. So would you? Mm -hmm. Do you feel like would you have seen a, a half baked now, or was that a product of the nineties? Nineties. Like a How High or like those those movies that we come and like call classic. Would you, you see they that? They tried to redo How High. I was just about to say that. But it was like, Trash. What? but then like when you watch the first How High, the first How High movie, it's like it was like ignorant, but it was like kind of smart. Like at the same time, like it was really smartly written, even though it was a bunch of nigga shit for about like two three hours. Big facts, like. Like, a lot of the jokes were, like, generally well set up. Like, as a comedy, it still mm -hmm. works. How High 2 is, like, a music video for an hour and a half. Yeah, and, and niggas is rambling. Wrong. Yeah. And, and well, trying to make something. You talking about the DC? Yeah. The DC joke? Really yeah. Right. But you gotta sure. understand. You gotta understand, man. Like, uh, when it comes to 
Nah, that shit was butt. <laughs> that shit was trash. I can't even hold you. I'm trying to get my boy DC back. Y'all know I'm a DC fan. Uh, but, like, they gonna, like, they gonna tell y'all. Like, they gonna remake, you know, they're making a Matrix 4. <laughs> yeah, that's like, coming up alongside of the, um, what's it called movie, right? Yeah, they're making a the Matrix 4. So now, when they make Matrix 4... Well, it's like, if we're going to be a thousand, did the other two hold up to the first one? Yeah, kind of. Matrix Reloaded held up to the first one. I That's a mind really movie, because a lot of people don't understand it. Matrix I, 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 you I, I, got to, to be on another level I, I feel, to sit I feel down like the, and the second one slapped people with a lot. Yeah. A lot. Yeah, it did. I said Matrix Reloaded held up to the second but one. I mean, the first one, bro. The first one raised a lot of questions. The second one raised mm-hmm. a lot more. And then the third one was like, here it is. Nah, the third one was like... Here it is. It kind of did. Got, we got answers what? for you, but you're going to have to dig deeper. Yeah, you got to watch. You, you, you want to dig. Here you go. Yeah, you got, yeah, you got, I'm telling you, 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 the third one was like, here comes some answers, but... But it's you not gotta, for... Uh, you got to uh, dig uh, deeper into the rabbit hole. It's not for <laughs> a critical thinker. You can't be a critical thinker and watch the Matrix and understand. No, you, you got to be a critical thinker to watch. You do, but you don't. Because I've seen somebody who was very, like, wanted to be an astronaut. He didn't understand the Matrix. I think at the base of He was overthinking. Well, see, that's... You get what I mean? You yeah, over- you're overthinking. The see, critical thinker, the overthinker. Like, you can't do I that to and a, watch it. I talked to a person who had an opinion that it was possible that Mr. Smith was the one all along and it wasn't Neo. And when he broke it down to me, it made sense. everything made sense in this fashion. And I can break it down for you how Neo was the one and everything makes sense in this fashion. But yeah, that one, that one, that Mr. Smith being the one, it kind of resonated as the better answer, though. I'm going to keep it real. It was crazy. So and like, the way they wrote the movie, when you think about it, Smith, he gained sentience. He was the first machine of his kind mm-hmm. to gain real sentience. He found a way to the real world. He mm-hmm. like he really was the one, but to from tap the in, to get everywhere. Yeah. but from the machine side, and I yeah. think like exactly because you gotta look and and man, fired, when, when when my girl <laughs> when my girl the Oracle said it, she said the one was born in the Matrix. You know what I'm saying? So like when you think about it, Mr. Smith, he ain't come from outside the Matrix into the Matrix. He came from the Matrix. He was born in the Matrix. You know what I mean? So like. When you start looking at things like that, that shit, man, listen, the Matrix is the truth. That's part, about like our robot. Part four is about yeah. to be a beast, yeah. man. Yeah, our, our, our robot holds up. We're I, coming into that, 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 that stage. I, 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 I was going to do that around Pops and shit. Yeah, that's why I was like, yeah. yeah I appreciate it. I just don't. He know why. Like, one of the things they know you do, but like, I just don't like Oh, yeah, I feel you, man. <laughs> like, nah, nah. Man, look, man. But. Nah, but um, but nah, I feel with iRobot, as far as that, that was like, because I think the early 2000s, they was cranking out some good shit, still. Yeah. Like, I don't really think the decline of movies started coming to like the 2010s, bro. Yeah, no. Look, you know, it's funny, you know how you said, what was it you said earlier, you said it's some, something about movies that were trash that you liked for some reason? Yeah. I, I like the Wild Wild West. That's my shit. <laughs> I was finna watch that last night. That's how HBO Max. I like Max. the Wild Wild West, man. That's how I like HBO Max. Yeah, That's I like the Wild Wild West, man. That was a good movie. I don't know why I like the Wild Wild West. That was Wild a good West. movie. You know what I think? You know what I think? And, and then, it, then it goes back to us also talking about the soundtrack. Huh? You want a drink? What time Oh. Yeah, I've never seen Wild Wild West like that. That's another you point. You haven't? We've got to talking about soundtracks. Wild Wild West that had another dope, dope soundtrack. They had a fire ass They had the Will Smith and Cisco joint on that guy. Cisco busting the dance. Friend, going straight. Yeah. And then, you know, my boy Will, my, my boy, uh... My boy Cisco, he can't never spare y'all. I know what he got to do every time. I don't, don't even play, man. He hit y'all with that shit nice and smooth every time. <laughs> <laughs> y'all know what time it is, but that boy Cisco ain't playing. I can call out a whole bunch Cisco of dumb Cisco singing on your movie. movie. <laughs> it's a go. It's a go. Well, you were taught it. It's Have you go. ever heard of a movie called Biodome? Biodome, that sounds so funny. It was with Paulie Shore. He was a star. Fuck no. <laughs> I never heard of it. Let me tell you, Bio this is one of them 
stupid ass good movies because it's like they create a ball dome, right? It's like right. a dome where these scientists go in the dome and see if they can sustain life in the dome just in case we fuck up out here. When? That part. So what Paul and Shortham did was they went in there and trashed the fucking biodome, fucked it up, him and the little goofy dude, then they fixed it. So then they became the smart people because in a sense, that's what we're doing, fucking up the world. Then you try to fix it to see if you can sustain, you know what I'm saying, life. Sustain it, yeah. And that's, that's what happened. They fucked oh, thank you. <laughs> but they they fucked it up and then brought it back and it was like great. I'm it was a good movie, That's crazy. a stupid good movie because Polly Shore is. It's on. It's on. It's on. So much quality. I ever. Hey, I don't ever go into any movie with expectations. My only expectation is to be entertained. As long as I'm entertained, it's that's Polly Shore though. Like it's a movie called The Pest. Have you ever seen that? With John Leguizamo? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> See, y'all smoke. Y'all supposed to be on these movies. Man, yeah, I, I mean, I smoke, but I'm a nerd, man. Like, yeah, I'm going to But those you know what I'm saying? These are like 90s movies. They're funny. Well, they're funny to me. You know, I, like, I, Poodle I, Tang was funny to me. You got to understand, bio, and then you got to understand, like, at the bio same time, the memory, the memory gets hazy when you start talking about the 90s. That's when I was growing up. You know I was in Friday yeah, like, 90s. God damn it, it took me a little bit for Mon Deuce to even want me to watch Friday in this motherfucker. <laughs> I'm like, God damn, yeah, I can't watch Friday. I mean, in the 90s, I was, in the 90s, yeah, I was a I'm kid. Yeah, so that's what I'm saying, 90s. Have you, you ever heard of that? heavy it? shit. Yeah, it's prime. What's the prom. movie? The Piss? Uh, Piss. I said, you won't go lie. Let's have that, my boy. With right. John Lick was on the yeah, you got a little Al younger than me too, so I'm bad to you. be forgetting about that. Yeah, like, I was a kid in it. I was young, like, this nigga young girl. I was a baby in the 90s, so like, really. He was too. He was yeah, born like, so, the in pets. the 90s. What was yeah. it about? I don't know. I'm a summer. Okay. John Link was almost. Last thing I seen that nigga in was, uh, uh, uh Summer of Sam. I don't even know who the hell that is. Oh. Nah, I'm just bullshit. It's a funny movie. God damn. God damn. I'm just bullshit. It was a okay. funny movie. It's a lot of movies that okay. I done seen that a lot of people ain't never oh. seen. This, this nigga dub. Your. What's that? Just like, yeah. oh God, what's that other one? I thought he said boo. I said damn you. Bring your ass, get on the podcast. Oh, oh you can pass around that way. Babe? I'm in the fifth I dimension. I think I want to crack this open. It's kind of, kind of, kind of, kind of human it, in here. I mean, as soon as I walked in here. Yeah, <laughs> yeah man, niggas dying. Niggas definitely dying. I'm not hot at all. Oh, great. I, 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 was, I was about to I'll get sent to my I don't see no droplets yet. Yeah, see, I told y'all, man. Yeah. Man, there's a whole lot of people. Like, Napoleon Dynamite. Yo, Napoleon. Napoleon Dynamite. Napoleon Dynamite. Napoleon Dynamite. Yo, Napoleon Dynamite. Napoleon Dynamite. Napoleon Dynamite. Napoleon Dynamite. Napoleon Dynamite. Napoleon Dynamite is fucking classic, bro. My part on that the is, Oh, my God. My part on Napoleon, boy, that's just so funny when he grabbed him by the back of the head and he get him with that. I do my kids like that when they show up. Come on, man. Wait, 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 wait until the long he's like, look, finish your food. Eat your food. <laughs> eat your food. You. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you. Oh, wait, you got uh-uh. you. Uh-uh. You're going to eat those pots? Oh, yeah. <laughs> when he kicked this fucking pocket. It's like, you're going to do. Oh, you pass it that way. No, oh, you know, she don't smoke. I don't smoke. Oh, oh. oh. Or when he bust Buddy in the back oh, with that shit. damn orange and took off okay. running. That shit was funny as hell, too. I can't lie. Napoleon Diamond was just funny as fuck. It was stupid funny. Stupid like, funny. I got a lot of movies like that. <coughs> like, the Super Bad. Super Bad is a classic. Yeah, Super Bad. <coughs> I can't lie. That shit was funny, though. <coughs> that shit was stupid. Bad Grandpa. Bad. But you can't lie when that nigga was <laughs> when that nigga McLovin was, loving, was trying to buy that damn beer and Buddy oh, yeah. snuffed his ass, that was bro. That shit was no, funny as hell, bro. Hey, when he went <laughs> when he went to the party so and they were trying to get the beer and the nigga was drunk, they were singing that song to him. He was trying to pretend like he was drunk. They're like, I'm doing a thing, I ain't doing it. They look yeah. at him and he was like, nah, 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 nah. He went to dance with Shorty and he like she like, Oh, thanks for the good time, no problem. And then she bled on a nigga cause she had a period on him. Oh my <laughs> gosh, that's Oh awesome. yeah, that shit was Ooh, ass, that's bro. Listen, we, we told her to get out the we got out the car in that little vest. But like, come on man, Jesus Christ, what are you fucking alive? Like, see like that's when you see like if you want me to be mature about a situation like that, you would have had to have been like my woman for some time already. Fresh relationship, you bleed on me. 
I can't be mature about this. We got, we got, we got. Certain, yeah, we got problems. It's up, really. Certain I mean, I, things don't warrant like, like self control. <laughs> Like yeah, some, some, yeah, yeah, you feel like, me? like like some things that that reflex doesn't come in immediately. Like you know, niggas, oh, me gotta control yourself. Certain shit you not controlling yourself for. You're not gonna talk. I'm trying to tell thing. you. First reaction, goddamn man, bitch, you down a shark and would have bit me. What the fuck? That's what you got going. On. <laughs> what you got going? On? Hey yo, like. What happened, yo? Like, you just sat on the nigga keys? I'm like, it was a little shop? Like, you, I'm trying to tell you. Like, shit, you ain't had no type of little bottom of liquids on me. I ain't asked for it. That, that's, that, shit, that's attempted murder. Sledging, sledging on a nigga. No, we can't have that at all. No, 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 no. no, no, no. That's hilarious. You can't keep that on the low. You got that guy, nigga. I, I might scream. What the fuck? Oh, my God. You just bled on a nigga? Fresh and we we just started fucking with each other, so you don't. Get yeah, it. you can't do it. Yeah, that, that, you, I don't know. If we keep going after that. That's the first instance we had. Imagine that shit. Like you, you, you was giving a chick a ride. You feel me? You just started fucking with her. She needed a ride. You gave her a ride. You know what I'm saying? She get up and she got blood on your seats, and your whips. Son. Like, yeah. would I get mad? Mm, yeah. I mean, am I gonna get mad more than like I'm gonna get mad? I'm not gonna snap on you. No, I'm not gonna. It's like that. I, that's not. That doesn't warrant violence. Oh, what if like somebody's trying to holler at you and they give you all the right numbers but the last one? And then you call and it'd be like some some nigga named Sal. Somebody else answers the phone. You like, yo man, what up, shorty? What's up, right. brother? Yeah, I feel like that shot's fire. She <laughs> give me like, don't, don't, don't participate with her, bro. I, I did this on accident. Don't participate with her. <laughs> he did that shit. It was an accident. Yo, listen, I was high. I had 980342 <laughs> instead don't, of 70. Hold on, don't give my phone number. Oh, she's gonna get dark. They're gonna start calling me, man. Oh, listen. shit, I forgot. Oh. <laughs> give me that code. <laughs> oh, oh, I forgot oh. you were alive. Hey, yo. Hey, you gotta edit that, fam. No, that, that, that's uh, that's one eight hundred space jam. It's what? gonna be a second, bro. Like, yeah, you know, we just kicking shit, man. Don't play with your life. That's one eight hundred space jam, y'all. One eight hundred space jam. LeBron reach. Yes, sir. Yes, but uh, mm. yeah, when people do stuff like that to you, then you bump back into them. Yeah, I'm, you know. listen, man. I I just tell people, God bless. We them. still on the Bloody Mary. Mm mm. Hey, no, oh, about, hey, look, look, that was some real shit, though. Yeah, you know what's magic about number. a situation like that? You gave her the wrong oh, number, no. and guess what? When we bumped into each other, she was like, yo, you gave me the wrong number. I was like, yeah, so that bitch, she actually hit me up. Man, listen. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I ain't get dope. You know what I'm saying? Your Cause, ass. Cause it don't matter about oh, the wrong number if like, you ain't <laughs> answering. In, in the top of your mind, you moonwalking. Yeah. I'm in there, yo. I, I did something. Right but you, now. you played off cool. Oh, word, that's what's up in your oh, head. You moon sliding all across the motherfucking room and you shit. Ain't hey, my bad. Yeah, I got done like this. Oh, oh man, man, it's all good, man. I might hit you tonight in your head. I'm gonna hit her as soon as I get free. Yeah, when I get free. I got you. That's, yeah, that's if you get past that curse off. Session. No, I just bumped back into him the next <laughs> day by accident, by way of somebody. Yeah, imagine. And you know that's how I got the right number. What's that? Had my all. What's the last? It was an accident. So wait, though. No. How was that? How was, was that we encountered? Like, what? But it said dumb. Dumb said he pulling up about that time. Let me random ass people. Boy, every <laughs> shit. <laughs> my bad. That's what he yeah, was. Man. My bad. Yeah, this is funny. That shit is hilarious, man. A lot of shit we look in hindsight. That's why I live by the philosophy. I let bird shit fly. When shit confused me too much, I had to put too much logic to understand fuck shit. I just let it fly. You have to. Nah, I just let it fly. Like, fly. Like, nigga, oh, you, 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 you're just a bird, yo. Let it fly. Stop trying to capture birds, bro. You won't be mad trying to capture birds every day. Yeah. Stop trying to capture birds, bro. Let them roam. Let them fly. They're meant to be free. They're, they're migrating. I'm yeah, a look. peacock, damn it. You gotta let me fly. This is what's in here. What movie is that? Pe oh, Peacocks nah, fly? No. What, what movie is that? For? I don't know. <laughs> the other guys with Wild oh, Bird oh, and shit. Will Ferrell. <laughs> Oh, I'm, I'm a peacock, damn it. You got on it before. I asked the peacock fly, yo. Hey, what was no, that movie where right? this nigga Samuel L. Jackson and, um... The Rock? The Rock. They thought they was the shit out there. The other guys. Man, in the beginning. Hey, Remember? Y'all seen that shit, bro? The other guy? Man, listen. I heard bro. of it, though. That is the funniest fucking movie. I don't know Mark Wahlberg, Wahlberg and John C. Riley. I don't know who the Rock is. Oh, Will Ferrell? 
Oh, I don't know who the Rock. And super <coughs> cops. They they were they were super cops. Bro, the Rock and Samuel L. Jackson <coughs> bitches jumped off a building. They nah, man, died. listen, bro. These niggas thought they was the truth. Like in shootouts, bro. These niggas just walking out in front of the bullets. Like like, bro, they doing everything like action movie dudes for real. Like, and then like they get in, and they get on top of the roof, and a the guy get away. They like, yo, you, you, they you thinking what I'm off. thinking? And buddy, like, yeah, aim for that bush. And he like, yeah, bro, hey, the bro they just jump off the and building die. like they were supposed to just land in the bush and live, bro. They both died. That shit was funny. <laughs> you gotta see that shit, bro. That shit That's was... how the movie come on. Bro, like, they doing funny. a big yeah. ass Hell, bro. super chase. <laughs> These niggas like superheroes out here doing the most, bro. And then they just jump off the building like they trying to land in the bush and die. And then Mark Wahlberg yeah, bro, wants bro. to be super cop. Hey. Hey, we might have to watch the other guys. Yeah, bro, that's just funny. Shit. Shit. We might have to watch the other guys. You know how I fucked around on that movie? They had one of those combo, like, three-pack movies with yeah, Will Ferrell. You know how they come in the pack for, like, yeah, $10? Yeah. Look at that, say he gonna pull up. Yeah, I told him I would get the gang in this motherfucker. We ain't doing nothing. Man, listen, that shit funny as hell. The other guys is funny. The other guys is funny. What's the, um, what's my shit, though? Y'all know my shit that Tyler Dick and I, Oh, that's my Dave Chappelle. That's in the, in the pack. Yeah, that's 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 I, I watched Loki too. Have you seen Loki yet? I've been Loki? watching it. I only got on the first series. I'm not going. I'm not. They, in, you know. See, I wanted all of them to drop so I can binge. Yeah, binge them. They introduced the main new villain of the Marvel universe, though. Who so, is he? Uh, Tell well, me. Well, they already announced it's Kang the Conqueror. But like, if you ain't, a, yeah, if you, you know, if you into like the Avengers, you remember the cartoon Avengers? Yeah. You realize like he a fucking monster. Yeah. So when they bring him out. How they introduce them because of multiverses, it's Kang is an alternate version of, um, in the comics, Reed Richards' son. So Nathaniel Richards, but the Fantastic Four ain't introduced yet. But that's who it's supposed to be. But they introduced the black dude from Lovecraft Country. I don't know yeah. what that is. Yeah, yeah. Um, so it's, they do the black guy and the books white. I still don't remember what it was about. I don't even know. What it was You're a DC fan, I'm ain't you? I'm a I'm a DC diehard, bro. I don't follow it. Listen, it ain't, it ain't I got a problem. You know, with know I got anyway. halfway into the first one. And Cause I don't you know what the fuck I've been on though. Like my motherfucking benefit. They don't ever want to give you a real story. I've been watching. No, X Men, bro. Whole. Seasons, bro. I care nobody said, bro. X-Men should be better than that shit. And I'm on Hulu, like, trying to get seasons three. X-Men, the X-Men movie should have been... The Wolverine, that Logan, that shit was hard, bro. I don't follow. I gotta give Logan his flowers. And it wasn't that it was... And it's not that they did it 100% correct, either. So I like, man... It's like, just that Logan was I literally hard. have, I downloaded the group. Because Wolverine was Wolverine. Downloaded, but I, I, think, think, I think that's, that's um, the Netflix problem. And, uh, uh, niggas have a lot of Marvel movies. Stars like, like right? Spider-Man's not Spider-Man. On like, Facebook, you got type it in. Yeah. Hulk's okay, not Hulk. Okay, so I'm part of the Netflix one, right? You know what I mean? Like, in, in Infinity War, like, Hulk gets beat by Thanos, and he's scared to fight him. I like that. I like that. No, mind you, this is the same year when they threw Hulk, they trapped him in, like, a hell. A hell, like basically, like what Hulk does. No, not a hell, like his wildest fantasy. No, Hulk's fantasy is to be locked in eternal combat to test his strength. The little tiny But you mean to tell me he fought Thanos, got his ass beat, and didn't want round two? Yeah, but I'm trying to go on there. But it, it was a he was scared. It was, it was so bad to the point where my mama. nigga was trying to transform. And he was like, and the a, nigga a, said, a, no. My Hulk said, no. Mm -hmm. Like, I ain't like that, bro. I ain't like none of that take shit, bro. Hey, listen. They don't know what the fuck is going on. I was tight, bro. I was like, yo, no. Nah. Hell no. Hey, I, I, I keep it a bean. Hell no. I keep it a bean. And I'm proud of this. I'm probably the only nigga as a kid who went to movies to see the 2003 uh -uh. Hulk movie. You definitely got to check well, out. You, know when he, you talking about when he beat up big ass dogs and shit? I went to theaters to watch that motherfucker. You know what my lie. ultimate favorite movie is? I don't know if I've seen that shit in theaters. I know I've seen that shit on TV about 30 times. Where is the what? Virtue. Oh yeah, that's my shit. What's that, that shit with what, the, the kangaroos, kangaroos or whatever the fuck they was, little wallabies. 
Okay, for real. Now, I don't know if y'all know about that shit, Jay. You gotta be on your movie ver- shit for real. You know about Warriors of Virtue now. Nigga know about Warriors of Virtue. It must be good shit. That shit, bro, that shit had Kung Fu kangaroos, bro. Got trained by some old ass white dudes, bro. The beard, like old sensei. No Chinese dude, my fault. With the beard, sensei dude, bro. Like, but they they was trained. They all they knew peace and shit. They had one kangaroo who wouldn't talk because I think. Yeah, he had a history. Some shit happened to him, bro. He wasn't talking shit, bro. Shit was crazy. Y'all be on that. Y'all be on that hard shit. Niggas be fighting kangaroos. And all that, man. Yeah, I'm, 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 it came out in 97. I'm telling you now, that shit was hard. Like, that's what they look like. Oh, yeah. it's like yeah. when someone fell in the sewers yeah. and shit. Bro, Boy, that was a classic. Yeah. Yeah. I remember that yeah. shit. I just ain't never you. know what that was named. Well, I never knew the name of that <laughs> bitch. That shit was hard. 1997. It's, it's called Warriors of Virtue. Yes. Warriors of Virtue. I'm gonna pass watch that. Hard, that shit. Bro. I remember. I remember that. I remember you know what that. Else was a banger. The never ending. Oh hell yeah, we watched that with the kids. Oh, what? Uh, is that that shit, that big ass dragon, bro? Yeah, yeah man. Yeah, see, yeah, I hate it was this little <laughs> shit that my mom and them had. I hated that that it was like, Wait, like the first one? Big old hell like. <laughs> Things you snog, you oh, into this hey, you about to go. You don't, don't like the first. You don't like the first never ending hey, story. Listen, my sister used to love that shit. That I hated shit. that shit. Oh, I think oh, I think it's because. Oh my god. Bro. I think it's because like my sister was law over me. Like she so she was like like if I wanted to watch this. Oh, and she, she said, watch we that. watch a never-ending story again. We watch a never-ending story again. I'm like, nah, fuck it, never-ending story, bro. Oh, that <laughs> nigga, that's the personal See, but rock. that's how I feel about The Land Before Fucking it's Time. One more movie I, I hate was... that shit with a fucking passion. It was one more the movie Land Before like, Time. Like, it's ass. It, but it ain't get to ass. the point that all we, 40 of them are ass. Man, hey, that first one was that first one slap, man. Five goes that's west, that's ass. That's I hate that fucking movie. You bugging on five. No, because I'm like you. And your sister, my cousin wanted us to watch this shit nine what? times Come in on. one day. Five of them were kind of fun. There was a five of them that time. I didn't like, though, because the little kid was the same way he did, bro. I swear, I started memorizing the movie. The little nigga wanted to watch this shit so many times, bro. Five of goes with the somebody my people who were watching, bro. Uh, like, dinosaurs. This dude wanted to watch five of them so much. I'm yeah. like, man. Our animated movies back then were different. Don't they seem like they spent more money on them back then? Yeah. But it felt like they were movies back then. They had a point. Then. They were good. They, they were had a point. Good, though. Like, I ain't gonna even, lie. even that dinosaur movie, do you remember? I remember that shit being heavy. Like the troll <laughs> under the bridge. This shit, these movies were emotionally heavy. Like yeah. a lot of shit was going on. Yeah, I remember movies. the Aristocats. You were sad. I, I hated that right shit there. too. Y'all remember the cats, bro? I ain't gonna hold it. That shit was kind of that's that shit was kind of classic. Right. Like, I ain't, the Aristocats. That's like that Lady in the Tramp. I hate that fucking movie. You hated Lady in the Tramp. I hated Lady in the Tramp. Lady in the Tramp. Oh wait, they licking noodles together and shit. The dogs. In hindsight, when you watch a lot of them old Disney movies, man, where like we care about your dog love story. Yeah, it's like get your ass out of here. <laughs> to noodles, <laughs> nah, bullshit. Like nigga made a whole plate with some like strand animals, like playing his food. He was cool with that for free. Hey, look, think about that shit. Think about how dogs actually would have ate those noodles, bro. Versus how them dogs licked something. Like, a noodle would never stay together with two dogs between two dogs, nigga. The bitches, you know how dogs chew food. Nigga. Them, them niggas would start fighting, bro. Them niggas going at it. Them, them, them niggas would start fighting. That's who was Stephen Baldwin. That Not was even that the dogs would fight. It's just that. The way they chewing the noodle, like that noodle would have split a long time ago. Only one dog was gonna enjoy that noodle. <laughs> the first dog was gonna get it that little piece, and the other dog was gonna fuck the rest of that. But noodle. I guarantee you, like, somewhere. Uh, now, in yeah, hindsight, the Trent was the the boy dog. Yeah, yeah, because he looking. was outside. Hey, who got another lighter, man? My lighter is done for. I don't. God damn it. The Trent but he was, was outside. Little... I gotta go find the flame. Oh, you good? We gonna wait a bit. No, nah, me. I don't. I don't mind. Shit. That shit funny as hell, though, man. That shit is funny, man. All them little classic ass animated movies. I ain't gonna lie. I don't know. I don't know which one of them is my favorite, though, from back in the day. I seen, like, every Disney movie. I still got, like, every Disney movie from back in the day. Got a full little collection of them shits from back in the day. Every last one of them. If I can take my hat off. Man, I need a flame. Funny though, man. Oh, how'd you say he got a knife? He didn't get a lighter. But on a real, on a, lightsaber. Real, on a <laughs> real tip though, bat on them tip of Space Jam though, like no cap though. I don't like the first one, man. I'm, I'm like, I, I don't. I like the first one better than the second one. That's just me. 
I mean, and I feel like that because I'm a classic. Like that's my era, so oh, yeah. I like that one better just because. That's the one you came up. It from. was the original. And see, True. and the reason just like some of these movies, they don't need to remake. The reason yeah, I yeah yeah, and yeah. the reason I know that the Space Jam one was better than two is because as a gamer, part two was supposed to resonate better with me. And it didn't, right? Right. Like yeah, yeah like, oh, oh, geez. Geez. as a gamer. Oh yeah, that too. Yeah, right. that. Right. <laughs> <laughs> she just asked. Uh, angry algorithm, like oh my god, it's just so funny. You know, on your laptop, if no, your no, microphone, no, no. I can hear you. Hey, look, look, look. and then they dropping gems in the movie. <laughs> like, they're trying to feed you. Shit. They're trying to feed you some secrets on the low. You know oh, oh they're literally right, telling you like this shit gonna be a problem. No, soon. we're yeah, watching. Yeah, you. I, I, hey, listen. don't watch this part if you don't want a slight spoiler for just this one quick moment. I just want to touch this part. That motherfucking that whole and it's all cut for like maybe like. 30 seconds. Fuck them niggas, man. That hey, shit on HBO Max. Right, right. right. HBO Max. All right, fuck it. Listen, <laughs> that whole, that whole, I can see you through anything. If if it has a mic on it, I can hear you. If it has a, a camera on it, I can see you. That's what they're doing now. Uh, yeah. What you browsing, what you be on. Uh, that He's the algorithm. He's, He's the, the whole way of the internet. He's the algorithm. I mean, but that's how they, that's how they have that's advertisements they personalized for you. Yeah. Because yeah. there's someone constantly watching and monitoring your information. So it's crazy. Nah. Both they they are mediocre to me. But it's not meant to be. No, no, I mean, no, no. It was a good movie. I liked it. I, mean, I thought it was a good movie. Like, all right, don't get it twisted. Like, shit. I, I thought it was good. Man, I but, thought it was better than me. But, you, but you, you got to think too. Unilaterally, we all came up from the era of going to the movies. Yeah. So all the movie needed to be was worth my time. If it entertained me yeah. for that runtime. And that, bro, that, like, that's how I judged it. From the beginning of the movie to the end, I was laughing at little shit. You know, I'm a Looney Tunes fan, bro, so I enjoyed this shit. It was good to me. I'm just saying, in comparison, in comparison, and like I said earlier, I don't really like to compare the two as in, like, I'm trying to measure them up because, like, like I said, they're neck and neck to me. You can go watch either one. You're going to enjoy both of them. Right. I don't see where you couldn't enjoy. But like I said, like, like if you watch the first um, Space Jam, the classic soundtrack, like that shit, that shit still holds weight. Like you know, what I'm saying, I can't like you watched the, uh, a song from this new one. The new one, you can't yeah. remember a song from like, like I can't think of a song that was like, damn, what's that the song? Played. What's the song? I don't even remember what's the song from Space Jam Two? If we told you right now, what's the song from Space Jam Two? One of y'all tell me right now, what's the song from Space Jam Two? What was that song that was hitting? Now watch Space Jam One. What's the song that was hitting from Space Jam One? You're gonna, mean, but you then, gonna come then, at me with the Seal song. You're gonna come at me with the R. Kelly song. You feel then, me? Then if you wanna be fair, bro, it's like the was first cool. Space Jam, like the type of artist. It was different. original. So of it was the first one. Yeah, like, of course it's gonna, of course it's gonna resonate better. And like I said, like back in the day, soundtracks were better for me. Movies. The movies, the, the were, movies were more original for the movies. The jokes were more original, and like this new one, it was good though. It was funny. There wasn't nothing wrong with it. Yeah, yeah but I like, like I, I need, I need y'all to let some new blood in the Hollywood, man. I'm tired of these like 90 year old niggas trying to write kids movies. We need to start letting some new blood mm. get into these writing rooms. Yeah. But no yeah. rap podcast. We gonna take uh, intermission briefly, niggas. Well, I am hot. So I'm gonna take a break. No, you said right the first time. <laughs> niggas is <Yeah>. hot. <laughs> We gonna be back, part two. Still got people pulling up. Deuce.